First at five, we have an update on the condition of a Rhode Island Superior Court judge who was hit by a car last night. House Speaker Joe Shikarchi says Judge Richard Leach underwent surgery this afternoon and says, quote, it looks very good. The 74 year old was hit outside the state house last night. He previously served in many state roles, including Lieutenant Governor. He's in serious condition at Rhode Island Hospital tonight. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now live from the State House. Alex, what do we know about the driver involved? Well, Mike, it's still not clear how fast the driver involved may have been going last night, but they were able to leave the scene on their own. Providence police say it's also not clear if they will face any criminal charges, but its traffic division is investigating. A pair of black dress shoes strewn in the middle of Smith Street was the first thing that State Rep Teresa Tanzi noticed when leaving the State House Wednesday night. And it was impossible to miss. There was a person who was on the ground. The victim turned out to be her colleague and Rhode Island Superior Court Judge Richard Leach. Tanzi has known Leach since his days at the Department of Administration before he was appointed to the court. He made time for me um, to come over and discuss the issues that were important to the people in my district. And it didn't matter to him that I was a freshman um, with probably some pretty idealistic views. Tanzi has unfortunately witnessed other car and pedestrian incidents and says things like this shine a light on opportunities that can be taken to make roads safer. I've been a longtime advocate for implementing a law that we've passed called Complete Streets, and that takes into account every time a road is redone, we have to look for uses um, and how it's going to be used by all, all people of all, you know, whether they're walking, biking, having a stroller, a wheelchair, um, they all have a right to use the road safely. Now, this is a state-owned road, and Rideout says it's awaiting the results of the Providence Police investigation, and based on those findings, we'll make a determination on any other actions that might be needed here. Separately, the Providence Mayor's Office says that the Smiley administration is currently looking at tra traffic calming measures across the city of Providence. Reporting live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.